Many people later tell stories of lands they could have bought maybe at a cheaper price and eventually, years later, they regretted not buying it. This happened often because people fail to understand that there are misconceptions about real estate investments. There is no doubt that every investment you see, every business you see, at its own portion of risk, whether systematic risk or unsystematic risk. So it is something that you cannot wish away. However, there are some misconceptions that are not true. They are just misconceptions. They are just cliches. They are just alibis that really scare people away from investing in land banking, from investing in real estate. And in this video, I want to look at, I want to talk about five misconceptions about land banking. Five misconceptions about land banking. What is it that really prevents people from not taking advantage of land banking? Because what is land banking? Land banking simply means buying an undeveloped location at a moderate price in order to develop or sell it later in the future. Later in the future. So, and you know, seeing a plot of land or maybe an acre of land for let's say 500,000 or 1 million naira and only for you to know 10 years after is now 10 million naira per acre. How do you feel? And you add the 1 million naira then. And one major thing is that you will, most people cannot even account for what they, they did with that 1 million naira because then they add the 1 million naira. Then they add the 500,000 naira which they could have used in buying that land and eventually keep secure it and keep it till later in the future when they will now resell it. But they can't account for it. So land banking helps you to build and to preserve wealth. So let's talk about five misconceptions about land banking. Number one, number one misconception is people believe that land banking or real estate investment is only meant for the rich. How wrong they are. It is not only meant for the rich. You can start small, as small as having a plot of land, just having it in your name, you secure it and make sure that it is there. And the moment you put your mind to it and you have that mindset that, okay, I want to invest in land banking, I want to invest in real estate, before you know it, it becomes a culture, it becomes a practice. Because there's another definition of land banking that says it is a practice. So which means it is not something you just do once, but because you have decided to take the first step, and there's this saying that the moment you take the first step, other steps will appear. But you have not taken the first step because of this misconception that real estate or land banking is only meant for the rich. So it has prevented you, it has immobilized you from taking the first step, which is acquiring, even if it is half plot of land or a plot of land. So the first thing to conquer this misconception is to take the first step. Number one, have the mindset that even as an average person, even as a low-income earner, you can actually invest in real estate or you can actually invest in land banking. Scrap this mindset of, be, of believing that real estate investment or land banking is only meant for the rich. It is not only meant for the rich. And it's something that if you put your mind to it, you will see doors begin to open in that aspect. Because whatever you focus on grows. The moment you begin to focus on that investment, on land banking, you begin to see opportunities. But if you have a closed mindset, a fixed mindset about it, then you will not see opportunities because even when opportunities are flying about, you will not see it. Why? Because you already have a fixed mindset. You already have a wrong misconception, a misconception about land banking, about real estate investment. That real estate investment is only meant for the rich, which is a lie. So that is number one misconception. That real estate, land banking is only meant for the rich. Number two, is you will be scammed. The question is, ask that person who is that, who is telling you that you will be scammed. Have you ever been scammed in real estate investments? Some of them, it is only a transgenerational mindset or cliche or alibi. 
or excuse that has been perpetuated over time and has kept people in a position, in a state. Because when you ask them, has it, has it happened to you before? They don't have a concrete answer. They may begin to ramble that, okay, I know somebody, but has it happened to them? For you not to be scammed, it is only which investment are you going to do that there's no for every fake, it means there's original. So you only need to look for the original. Who are those that are selling genuine lands that you can buy from? Who are those that are selling? Which family, even if you are buying from Omonile and you are not buying from real estate company, who there are correct families, there are families that are have integrity. They won't sell one land to four different people. They have integrity. So don't let anybody tell you this lie that you will be scammed. Do your due diligence. Ask questions. That's the way not to be scammed in any form of investment, not only in real estate. So it is not only in real estate you will be scammed. The moment you rush into investment, into any form of investment, there's that likelihood that it is a scam. When you don't make your findings, when you don't ask questions, when you don't, you, you don't have an inquisitive mind, don't be tired of asking questions. Even if you are coming to me, ask the questions. So you will be scammed. So the moment you are told you will be scammed, there is more or less like a fixed mindset. And that, that does not open any opportunity up to you in the real estate industry, in the land banking sector. That's number two. Number three, the location is far and it is bush. One thing about land banking is that you are buying an undeveloped location, not developed. When you are buying developed, it is called land flipping. That one is short term, but land banking is long term in nature. nature. So you are not buying a developed location. So definitely you are buying a, lo a location that is outside the city, outside a growing city. Just make sure it is a land that has growth potential. And I've made a video on the 10 things to look at that drives the growth potential of any, of any land, of any location. So definitely it will be bush, definitely it will be an undeveloped location, definitely it will be far, not so far, but far from the city, like 10 to 20 minutes drive away from the city, at times 30 minutes drive, depending on the maturity of the location you are looking at. So it's all about knowledge. Having the right knowledge, so it's, the location is far and it is bush. That's a misconception because every city you see today was once a bush. Every bush you see today will tomorrow become a city. So that's a misconception. It is still bush. It is land. So don't see the bush. See the potential in the bush. See the potential in that location. That is it. So it's a misconception that makes people to, to run away, that scares people away from investing in land banking. It will be bush. But don't see the bush. See the potential. See the ROI, return on investments. See the future in that location. Don't see the physical. Don't look, don't, don't be scared by what you are seeing, but the potential. That is in that location. That's number three. Number four, don't buy land because you will lose it to Omonile. So many people are scared of Omonile and that's why they are not investing in real estate. They are not investing in land banking. There is risk in every business, in every investment. But there is a way to minimize it. So what you need to do is how can I minimize losing my life to Omonile? And we have spoken about it. Make sure you do your due diligence. Make sure... You do your proper documentation, if possible, perfect, perfect your documents, go ahead, occupy the land, secure it, and you are good to go. You are good to go. Maybe out of 100, maybe 10%, only lose to money left, depending on the location. That's why due diligence is very important. So it's also a misconception. If everybody loses their land to money, then nobody will be investing in land banking again. But we still see people who are investing heavily in land banking. Especially people in diaspora. 
So that's another misconception. You will lose it on Monday. You will not lose it on Monday. Like just to make sure you do your due diligence. You have the last, the right person. What is the last one? You can buy the land anytime you are ready. It's a misconception. You can't buy it anytime you are ready. Somebody would have bought it. So you have the opportunity to buy it when it was 200,000 naira or when it was 500,000 naira and you said I will buy it later. By the time you want to buy it later, it, it will be in the secondary market or in the tertiary market and it's usually expensive then. And one thing about real estate is that you can't compare the appreciation rate of real estate to the inflation rate. It's always higher than the inflation rate. And that's why you take advantage of the time value of money. Many people who say this don't consider the time value of money. As an economist, as a chartered accountant, I can tell you that there, there's something called time value of money in investment. And that's why you need to consider it when you want to do, when you are investing in any vehicle. You need to consider the time value of money. That's why when we are considering investment appraisal, there are some strategies we don't consider because we, we say that they ignore the time value of money. But we usually go with the ones that take into cognizance the time value of money, which means my 1,000 naira today will not be 1,000 naira in the next five years. My 100, 1 million naira today will not be 1 million naira in the next five years. Don't say you will buy at any time you are ready. Once you have it, discipline yourself. Buy, invest, keep it there, secure it. Have a portfolio manager if possible. So I think with this, I've been able to enlighten us on the five misconceptions about land banking that has, that has immobilized people, that, has, that have scared people away from investing in land banking. So you may have to watch this video again if possible. So if this video has helped you, you have gained from it. Kindly give it a, a thumbs up and if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we release a new video. So we meet in our next video. Stay blessed.